Duval and Clay counties will begin vaccinating certain members of the public on Monday. People 65 and older and local health care workers who have direct contact with patients. But as many of you complained to us, actually getting an appointment felt a little impossible yesterday. Duval County had problems handling the call load and the online process in Clay County booked up almost immediately. Heather Huffman is the interim director of the Duval County Health Department and also Clay County Department of Health Administrator joining us via Zoom this morning. Good morning, Heather. Thanks for joining us. Good morning, Jennifer. So I heard it from viewers yesterday. I know you also heard it from the public. They were calling us, telling us why on earth didn't the Duval County Health Department have more people answering the phones? Was that the problem yesterday? So the state of Florida uses a centralized phone system. So I want viewers to first know that this was not a specific Duval County issue. It really truly had nothing to do with how many people could answer the phones. It really had to do with the phone system itself and how many phone calls were coming in, it basically crashed the system. Um, you know, we can have all the systems in place and until we face it, we don't really know exactly what's gonna happen. So the state of Florida knows that, the vendor that we have for the phone system is working on that, but we are going to be launching an online system. We do know that that's a better opportunity for a lot of people. Many people are very technologically savvy these days. So we hope that that will be a way that individuals will not be so frustrated, but we do hear how frustrated they are and we're frustrated with them. Do you, when will the online option then be available and how will the public be notified that it's available so that they can hop on and make an appointment as quickly as possible? So we hope to have that all ironed out throughout the weekend. We've been working with the city of Jacksonville and getting that system up and running. We want to make sure that we test run it to make sure that we're not going to run into any hiccups that we have with the phone system like many other county health departments across the state did yesterday. Um, and so as soon as that is available, we will put that on our website and we will also do a press release so that that information goes out and do also our social media accounts. All right, and we'll make sure as soon as we receive that to alert the public as well. Are there any vaccinations for these two groups of, 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 of citizens still available in Duval County? So yes, we have quite a few vaccines. So we've received in Duval County at the health department, we received 16,000 doses of the Moderna. And this week we should be receiving an additional 10,000 of the Pfizer. That's a very small number. And so I want people to understand that we have almost a million people in Duval, even if with just these targeted groups that we're focusing right now, which is the healthcare frontline healthcare workers and excuse me, and the um, 65 and older, um, we're hoping to continue to keep getting vaccines every week. We just won't be able to vaccinate everybody in the first week. And we need to try to do this in the most efficient and effective manner that we can. Um, and so as those vaccinations are coming from those manufacturers, um, those vaccines, we will be um, adding appointments as they come available with the vaccines that we have on hand. Now in Clay County, some people reached out to us frustrated that they, they also felt that they didn't have enough time or get be given enough notice about a chance to book an online appointment. It's online in Clay County. How do you respond to that? Yeah, I mean, we uh, in Clay County is a little bit different situation. We're about, a, you know, a 20 percent of the population of Duval. Um, and so we have only received 3000 doses of Moderna. And so with a population of 220,000, um, you can imagine that there's a very high demand and low availability. Now, we do know that the state is promising us that we're going to continue getting vaccines every week. We just don't know what the number is every week. But as those numbers come in and we receive those vaccines, we will be adding those appointments. Appointments, um, to the available appointment line that we have um, online. So we'll be doing that. It, it is very frustrating because we had the 3,000 that we put out there and we put all those appointments out and they booked within three hours. So we do know there's a very high demand and we want people to continue to be excited about getting the vaccine. So it's interesting because some may some people may do what I did. I was basically calling around all different you know counties trying to find them for my parents and lucked out in Baker County, believe it or not. That said, you know if somebody maybe booked an appointment in Clay County but found something somewhere else, you know now that that could if they cancel that appointment, is there some way then that the health department can notify the public and say, hey, we've had some open up? Well, definitely. I know with the Clay County system that you can go in and actually cancel your appointment um, and um, have that availability to have those. I think those are going to be far and few between at this point, Jennifer. But yes, that definitely is an option. I want people to understand that this is a federal vaccine for a, va a federal vaccine program. So there are no borders um, related to the vaccines that we have. 
We do know that allocations are coming based on population within the community. So we do encourage individuals to go within their own community that they live. But we do know that, um, you know, there is no bounds by a federal vaccine to stay within the county that you reside. And I want to point out that both of my parents are very high risk and my father is recovering from cancer, which is why I did that. So uh, considering how hard it's been to make an appointment for you know the first dose how will the second appointment be made do they make that when they go either in duval or clay or anywhere else when they go to get that first dose considering that they don't want to have run into a problem that they can't get the second dose so it, we're going to be working with both of those online systems to be able to tweak it that some of those appointments will be specific for second doses and some will be based on first doses and then that way we can make sure that we have the vaccine for that. The way that the federal program is working with Operation Warp Speed is the manufacturers themselves hold them back. So when they ship them, they know that the number of weeks later, they'll need to ship that same amount for the second dose to that um, customer, which would be the health department or the hospital. So the feds are doing the, the second dose hold back for us. Heather Huffman joining us. I want to point out on her day off, but agreed to join us this morning because it's so important to alert the public about what's going on. We do appreciate your time this morning. And, and Heather, I, I know you, when we talked yesterday, you said, please make sure that I make it very clear to everyone. You cannot just show up at the Prime Osborne or at the Clay County Fairgrounds and walk in and try to get a vaccine on Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday of next week, anytime next week. You have to have an appointment or you'll be turned away. Yes, ma'am. And we, again, we want to be try to be as fair as equitably as possible. Um, you know, we know that there's a high demand and we we completely understand that when we wish we had thousands and thousands of doses on hand. Um, they're going to be coming in each week. And as those come in, we'll open more appointments. Um, but right now we want only those that have had a verified appointment to come to the site um, that will help us be able to be efficient, to be effective and be able to have an organized fashion for these vaccinations. There is more coming. I want the community to know that. We do hope that our local retail pharmacies will come online soon. Many of them have already signed up to be COVID-19 vaccination sites. And as soon as those come online, we're gonna have a lot more access points in our community. Heather, thanks for your time. You're welcome.